To build a time series chart, the appropriate template should be selected from the Report Builder, which is available from the main menu, Reports page. A time series chart can contain up to eight attributes. Although all of the attributes may be from the same component, they can also be taken from multiple different components, and those components don't even need to be of the same type. This means that port utilization metrics can be presented in the same chart as device metrics, such as CPU and memory utilization. The attributes should be dragged from the Attributes dashboard, which could either be located in a different browser tab or a separate browser window. The easiest way to create a separate browser tab is usually to right-click the current tab and select the Duplicate option. This displays the same page and maintains your login on the new tab. From here, you can select the component using the Explorer. Then you can select the Attributes dashboard from the All Dashboards menu. Any time series metric can be dragged into the Report Builder from the Attributes dashboard. Within the same browser window, drag the chosen attribute up to the tab of the Report Builder, and then down to one of the eight attribute entries. I'll click on the Average CPU Utilization attribute drag it up to the tab for the report builder, wait for it to change, and then drag it down and drop it in this first attribute. Let's add another attribute, but this time I'll show an alternative way of using drag and drop. I'm going to make this browser take up the right half of the screen by dragging its banner off the right side of the screen. The browser tab used to display the Attributes dashboard can then be dragged off the left side of the screen, causing that tab to appear in its own browser window, occupying the left side of the screen. Any chosen attribute can then be dragged from one browser window to the other. I'll take the Average Memory Used Percentage attribute and drag it into the second of the attributes in the Report Builder. I'm now going to create a very simple time series chart report to display these specific attributes. You'll see that the default line colors have been allocated to each of the attribute entries, although you do have an option to change these yourself. Without making any more changes, I can preview what this report would look like. Various other aspects of the report can be defined, including the title, the time frame, the name to be used for labeling each metric, the height of the chart, and whether to display a line or stacked area. Once you're satisfied with the configuration of a report, it can be given a name and published to the user-defined reports folder, from where it can then be launched and scheduled.